Welcome to Next Gen Game Development with Unity 3D, Volume 2, Unity 3DS Max and ZBrush Production Pipeline. I'm i3D Jack and I'm going to be taking you through this entire training product showing you how to integrate these three pieces of software in order to create assets for games and work on AAA game content for your game productions. So our goal here is to integrate Unity, 3DS Max and ZBrush into an efficient pipeline in order to create professional game assets for next-gen AAA game productions, okay? So I'm going to be showing you how to use 3ds Max to create base models, low polygon modeling, prep meshes, uh, normal map, do all kinds of things, and we're also going to be working ZBrush to create high-res sculpts. We can then use these to take information like uh, high-res data and bake it onto low-res models, and then we can use 3ds Max to work in general as well as pipe assets into the Unity engine. So 3ds Max is a pretty popular piece of uh, 3D software. It's one of the most popular 3D animation packages in the industry. So it's very heavily used for games as well as television broadcasts, visual effects, and lots of other things. We're going to be looking at it from a game developer point of view. So some of the things we're going to be covering in this tutorial and this training product is design and conceptualization. This is extremely important. This comes first and foremost. If you don't have a design and a concise concept down on paper uh, and planned out, you're not going to get a game, period. Okay, So um, you want to make sure you have a good design and concept ready to go. Once that's done, you need to move on to actual modeling. Now I'm going to show you in this tutorial modeling low-res objects for games. It's pretty much the meat and potatoes of this tutorial. It's the core of it, how to actually create objects for your games. And this is going to be broken up into two ideas or philosophies. Okay, A. Uh, looks and B performance. So with looks, we want our objects to look phenomenal. We want them to look great. Sometimes we have to create objects with a lot of triangles um, in order to make them look good. But at the same time, we have to be careful not to go too far because we need the game to run very optimized and with a lot of performance. So if your game looks phenomenal, but it plays at about 10 frames a second, you have yourself a problem. Um, your game is just not going to run well, and most gamers will not want to play your game if it runs at anything below 30 frames a second. So that's very important. We're also going to be going over sculpting and incorporating ZBrush into your pipeline. This is extremely important. Uh, it's another core element of this training product is showing you how to incorporate ZBrush into your pipeline. So everything from um, the art flow of sculpting and making things look good all the way to technicalities like how do you get stuff into ZBrush? How do you get it out? What are the best technical, um, you know, things to follow and rules and things like that in order to not run into any bugs or problems in your pipeline? I'm going to be showing you that uh, in this training product. Normal mapping is nothing new, but we're going to be going over it in this training product because it's extremely important, and without it, you really don't have a next-gen AAA game. So in order to make your game look good, we're going to be using normal mapping to bake high resolution details from the sculpt and baking those details onto normal maps that can be applied to our low res in-game objects and make them look decent, go from looking decent to looking phenomenal. So we're going to be looking at that. Subdivision surface modeling, also known as sub-Ds. Uh, sub-Ds are not supported directly by the Unity engine or most engines to my knowledge. So how can we use sub-Ds in our pipeline? Well, we can't use sub these directly inside the Unity engine, but we can use sub these. They can perform a couple of different functions. One of them is to create clean base models for us to take into ZBrush and then sculpt on. And they can also serve a purpose of creating high-res models, and we can actually normal map it. We don't have to do it in ZBrush. Data Asset Exchange is very important, and I'm going to be going over this in detail. Data Asset Exchange is basically a fancy term for saying getting your stuff into the Unity engine. Okay, it's very important. One of the toughest things inside of you know the 3D industry is getting information and data from one environment to another. So for example, when you get data into ZBrush, that's called data asset exchange. When you get data into Unity, that's data asset exchange. It's whenever you get data to move from one program to another, that's data asset exchange. Unfortunately, data asset exchange is one of those things that opens up the doors to all kinds of stuff going wrong. Okay. When you're moving stuff from one environment to another, that's when things kind of go haywire, stuff starts to break, uh, bugs start to show up, and you know you can go into a hair pulling session. But in this training product, I'm going to show you some really good practices and techniques so that you can avoid those pitfalls, so that you can successfully get your stuff 
in Unity without a problem and more. So there's going to be a lot covered in this training product. Um, thanks a lot for coming to i3D and trusting us with your training. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love this training product. A lot of work went into it and a lot of detail was uh, put into the planning of this training product and what to cover um, so that you know developers out there with the community engine both professionals as well as indies and students can take advantage of it and start making higher quality games and higher quality assets for your games okay so we have a lot to cover I'm gonna end this video here we're gonna go ahead and get started in the next video and move on to uh, to get this training product done um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to cover and uh, let's go ahead and get started